So lesson two. Now we go bon sao, tan sao, pom. Okay. Lesson two. You do you got your bon sao wu sao. Step to the far corner. I mean, left corner. Pivot, forty five degrees. Tan sao, low palm. Okay. So that's the whole movement. That's the whole movement. Like this. Now let's break it down. So the footwork, I step to the far corner, I bring this foot around the dummy leg. Okay, starting right here, step to the far corner. If I bring it straight towards that point, my foot would get stuck behind the leg. So I have to go around the dummy leg, kind of like in a circle, so it ends up here. I step down, my foot pivots. Now both feet are about 45 degrees facing the dummy. Now the arms, and we ended up uh, here. Let's so start with the left hand. Left hand just relaxes, and then low palm. So here, bong sao, I move sao. Step here, hand relaxes, then low palm. One more time, hand relaxes, low palm. The right hand is a bong sao. So I step here, I flip it over to a tan sao and try to stick contact with the dummy arm. So remember, this is a bong sao. So don't lose contact and then bring it back. You wanna actually keep contact throughout the whole move. Like that. So I'm here, my hand is keeping contact and it now it turns into a tan sao. The bong sao keeps contact as a tan sao. Now I combine both of them Bong sao was home and then keeps contact. And then there's a bull palm here. Okay? Like this, this, like this. Like this. Step to the far corner, pivot, tan sao, bong sao. Lesson two Wing Chun dummy training without the wind dummy. Remember, we ended up here last time and pivoted 45 degrees this way. I sunk down, grabbing the neck, grabbing the arm. So now, my left hand is just going to go back here to a wusao. Okay, so make sure it's not over here in front of your chest this way. It's actually over here because your opponent is in front of you in this angle. So your body is facing 45 degrees this way, but your opponent is straight in front of you. So this hand has to be between you and the opponent. Your chest here, the middle, and your opponent, so it has to be there. So from here, this hand just goes back to here as a wusao position. Grab back to here. Right hand goes from here to a bong sao. So behind the neck, grab to a bong sao. Combine them together, end up here, and we just go like that, bong sao, wusao. So from here, I go back to here. So from lesson one, Start of lesson two. Lesson one, start lesson two. All right, so from this position, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna step to the far left corner and then I'm gonna pivot this way. Okay, so let's just work on the feet. Step and pivot. And then make sure that my toe is on the left side of the center because that's where the wooden dummy leg is. So right hand, I go here and turn to the tan sao. This bong sao, the right hand, bong sao turns into a tan sao. Right hand bong sao. As I pivot, it turns into a tan sao. Left hand, it was uh, here. So I, when I pivot, it turns into a left palm like that. Left hand right here, turn. Left palm, one more time. Wuso, step to the far corner, pivot, and then sideways palm to the ribs. Combine them together, left and right hand. Bonzo Wuso, step to the far corner, pivot, and then low palm. One more time. Pivot, low palm. Lesson two, so let's learn what we're gonna do, how to apply 
Bong Sao Wu Sao. So he comes in, I got this Bong Sao Wu Sao. I have two levels of protection. One's a Bong Sao against this, and another Wu Sao in case he goes through. I still have at least this one. So you can go against this hand, or you can go against this punch here, right? Same thing, I got Bong Sao Wu Sao. But then right now, if I go Bong Sao Wu Sao against the wrong hand, which is the cross one, see, this is my right hand or his right hand. Okay, so th this is where I step over to the side, just like in the form. I flip this over as a tan cell and relax my hand, and then I palm him in the ribs. So that's how it works. If you're in closer range, just imagine there's the leg right there. Okay, so I do my bong sao, wu sao, step over, I slide my leg to this side. So now I'm on the outside of his leg, tan sao, and then I hit the ribs here. Okay, so I'll do it slowly. He punches, I go like this. Sometimes if you don't get on this side, it's okay. As long as you're pointing this way, because then my energy is this way, and he's, and he's uh, standing in the bad position. So here, step, palm, low palm. Okay, so here, step, low palm. Now later on, we're gonna go to the same thing on this side. Bong sao, wu sao, step, low palm. So it's just a mirror image of it. So you can practice both sides. Left bong sao, wu sao, step, low palm, like that. So that's the application. If you want to practice this as a drill to get lots of repetitions in, all you have to do is just go like this, right side, bong sao, wu sao, and then go immediately into this, and then do it this way. So you do both sides, bong sao, wu sao, tan, low palm, bong sao, wu sao, tan, low palm. So it's not in the form, but since we're practicing this, this is a good way to practice this without a Wing Chun dummy. You can practice both ways. Bong Sao Wu Sao, Tan Lu Pong. Bong Sao Wu Sao, Pivot. Now you have a partner to train with. One way to do this is just alternate the punches, right? So it just it makes it simple. He squares towards you just for the sake of practice. So you're going to punch me in this one, right? I step. Lu Pong punch me in that one. Step. Lu Pong. Okay. Step. Lu Pong. Step. Just for the sake of practice. You, may, you don't want to defend yourself like this, it's too slow if you punch like this, but just for this drill, so you can get lots of repetitions in, you can practice like this. So that's lesson two. See you in the next lesson.